out of the Isn't It Ironic files, no offense to Miss Alanis Morissette, we have the Republican obsession with China. Not that it's wrong to be worried about China as a competitor. I, I noted a few months ago myself on the Fox News show Cashin' In, um, the fact that in a few years China will be the number one country in terms of annual new patent submissions, uh, particularly in high technology, and that soon they'll double the next highest country, that's us here in the USA, in new patents per year. So Republicans are rightfully concerned about our ability to compete with China, but then they turn around and try to cut education at every opportunity. I mean, Florida's new governor, Republican Rick Scott, decided to cut $3 billion from the education budget from his state. Florida's a state that's already in the bottom 10% uh, in terms of education measurements for his children, and Governor Scott does this to the children of his state. I just don't, I don't understand it. And by the way, half of those cuts are coming directly from cutting property taxes in Florida. So you can't even make the excuse that you're doing this to try to make up the state's budget deficit. The revenue is being cut, so it's not going to help cut Florida's budget gap at all. Ohio's new Republican governor, Kasich, had to be talked down from slashing the educational budget in his state. He finally relented. The recent federal budget that Republican Congressman Paul Ryan proposed and was embraced by the House Republican Caucus would have rolled back discretionary spending including that on education to 2008 levels. That's on top of a $750 million budget cut on higher education already enacted by the Republican House in early March. Now Republicans whine about the, defic the deficit's effect on our grandchildren, but they ignore the effect of not focusing on our children's and grandchildren's education. One of my maxims is that you cannot cry foul about a competitor's tactics either in sports, business, or in the global economy if they are outworking or outsmarting you. And if the Chinese have positioned themselves to be creating more new and patentable solutions than us, then they are outsmarting us. We can cry about things like their monetary policies, but that's not what's going to beat us in the long run. Our own CEOs are not only telling they are begging political leaders to get them a smarter and better educated population of workers. While Republican elected officials seem to spend a lot of time and effort being accommodating to CEOs in just about every other possible way, they're not listening to them in this one important circumstance. I just have one question for Republicans. Why? Why are Republicans so willing to give up on competing with the Chinese, and the rest of the world for that matter, by shortchanging our children's education?